Hello. Someone just gave me a really great idea. I wanted to talk about Portia and Kenya. That whole thing still kind of has me upset because me personally, if you saw the reunion, Kenya just kept messing with her and kept provoking her. In my opinion, I think Kenya should go. Like I said, think Kenya should just go. Let me know who else think you should go. Do you think Nene should go? I don't think Nene's going to leave. Cause if Nene leaves, like who's, I don't know if I still watch it, but. Mm. But yeah, the whole Portia, the whole Portia and Kenya thing, I think is so unfair. I think it's so unfair because Kenya kept provoking her, kept messing with her. Then once she got, and plus it was too much. And I also think it was too much on Portia. Like, like she said, as soon as the divorce got final, she found out she was going to divorce by Twitter. Who does that? That's so mean and hateful. Like, who does that? Then on top of that, as soon as she found out she was going to divorce, they started airing. I feel like Andy should have known that was going to happen. Like, you shouldn't, in my opinion, I feel like K Portia shouldn't have been sitting nowhere near Kenya. Then again, I also feel like regardless, that would have still happened, whether she was sitting next to Phaedra, Candace, Nene. Like, I feel like either way that was going to happen, but to fire Portia over that, I don't agree with that. I don't, because I don't think Portia should get fired. It's because, like I said, my last one I did on the review on the um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, I don't really think that Portia should go. I don't. I like Portia. And Kenya just kept... Kenya, I don't like. Okay, when she lost her puppy, I'm not going to lie, I felt sorry for her. Because I love animals. And it's... Do you think... Because me and my uncle's... Me and my uncle's wife, Shante, me and my uncle's wife were talking about it. And she said something. And it made sense. Now, I'm not saying that I don't think that her dog died. Because a lot of people... A lot of people are saying that her dog didn't die. She just faked it just to get attention. I hope that's not true. I don't believe it. I really do believe that her puppy passed. And as far as this African prince, I don't believe in that one bit. I believe Portia's story. I believe that she tried to pay somebody to be her African prince. Kenya, what the whole... Because remember... Remember when Walter came on, everybody thought Walter was her, Walter was her boo. But Walter won't her boo, ba Walter, not to say Walter. <laughs> Walter was someone she paid. I believe Portia. I truly believe Portia on that one. Let me know what you guys think. If you think, and who do you think, and another question I wanted to ask was, out of the whole Atlanta Housewives, who do you think should really go? Like, who do you feel is like, that you're just sitting at home now going, all right, look, uh, okay, enough is enough. You got to go. A lot of people are saying NeNe, but NeNe can't, NeNe not going to go nowhere. NeNe makes the show, kind of, sort of. She's the only original one there from the original Housewives, if you think about it. And Candace. Mama Joyce, she a trip. I can't wait till Sunday. Also, oh, yes. Thumbs up if you watch this, watch this show on Lifetime called Devious Maze. If you watch that, thumbs up. I love that show. I'm so happy they brought it back. It's called Devious Maze. It comes on Lifetime. I'm not quite sure. I know less. I'm not quite sure what time it comes. I'm not quite sure what time it comes on. But check your local listings. That's a good show too, Davis Mates. And I watch that too on Sunday. So it's, I'll be watching Real Housewives of Atlanta, the second part, which I can't wait. But I was so upset at Andy. 
to tell Portia at some point she's going to have to apologize. I don't think that was fair. And I think Andy was wrong. Andy, you taped the, as soon as she got divorced, she was taping that. And then you trying to then you're going to tell her that you're trying to make it look like she's the bad person. No, Kenya kept provoking her. First it was a little toy, then it was the the props. Like, what was the call of all that? I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you guys watch Devious Mace if you want me to start doing reviews on that. It's a good show, though. It's about these. If you don't know what Devious Mace is about, it's a show about these maids. One of them is not a maid. She's a English professor. But what happens is when it first came on, I want to say last year, Davis Mates came on. When it first came, it was a mate, and she, I don't want to, I'm just catching you guys up. A mate gets killed. One of the mates. So the other people are trying to, she was trying to basically help clear her son out. So if you haven't seen it, I guess you have like Demand or Netflix or Ustream, not Ustream, Hulu TV. I guess you can go on that and just go to Devious Mace and catch up on the season one. It's a really good show on Lifetime. It has Susan Luke. I don't know how to say her last name, but I know she played Erica Kane in All My Children. Other than that, let me guys know though. Who else do you think should leave Housewives? And if you. Let me know how you feel about how Andy did the whole Porsche thing. Me personally, I don't think that was fair how he handled it. Like, Andy, you're wrong for that. And I don't agree with. What you said, let me guys, let me guys, let me, let me know what you guys think. I'm tired all of a sudden. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. God bless and pink kisses. <laughs> kisses. Remember, all you need in life is love, peace, and happiness. I will see you guys Sunday. And I can't wait till Tuesday. Oh, yeah, Tuesday. Has anybody else heard about the rumor about the game? Is Melanie and Darwin coming back? Please leave a comment and let me know if you heard that same rumor and if, if they're coming back to the game for good. Love you guys. Bye.